Welcome to the West Valley Food Pantry. Uh, I'm Reverend Bob Thompson from Woodland Hills Presbyterian Church and this is a wonderful occasion when we get to work with four different entities of the Christian faith. One we have the West Valley Food Pantry which is here. We also have Kirk of the Valley Presbyterian Church. Robbie Carnes is the pastor there at, the Woodland Hill, at Kirk of the Valley Presbyterian Church. And we also have people from St. James Presbyterian Church. What we're here today to do, is obviously, is to dedicate this refrigerator to the work that the pantry is doing. And it actually involved four entities bringing this, pan this refrigerator to the West Valley Food Pantry. First of all, it was the Synod of the Southern California and Pacific, who had a grant program, a pledge grant program of matching funds. And so they contributed half the cost of this refrigerator, while the three churches, Kirk of the Valley Presbyterian Church, St. James Presbyterian Church, and Woodland Hills Presbyterian Church, together combined the other half of the refrigerator. And as you've already mentioned, having this refrigerator allows them to provide the cold food to the people who come through those doors that they couldn't do before, simply because they didn't have the, the space to store the cold food. And as we, we saw in here, uh, it's full of lots of things that they need, uh, salad, uh, fruits and vegetables, um, eggs. eggs, cheese, all of the stuff that a healthy family needs to provide for food. And by this refrigerator being here, they're able to provide them for that. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, this pantry was the dream of Father Taylor. He wanted to organize the churches in the neighborhood back in 1984 so that people that needed food could get good quality food and not the little tidbits that church offices had. And it became his dream in the summer of 1985 and this pantry opened in July. And uh, so we've been here a good many years. We have a fine reputation in the neighborhood. Back when we opened, if we had two or three families in a day, we thought it was okay. If we had six we were families, we were really busy. Now we are doing somewhere between 35 and 60 families a day. And we are busy all the time. In the beginning, we had two volunteers work a shift. We now have four volunteers or five volunteers work a shift. And we run, literally run, from the one client that comes in to another. And uh, we have good food here. We have nine churches, including a Jewish uh, congregation that helps support us, and the National Charity League that is a big supporter of the food pantry. And uh, we have never run out of food yet. Back in 2008, we were out of food and out of money, and there was a newspaper article that came out that we were going to close, the board had voted to close this pantry in February of 2009, and the community said we can't let this happen, and they came to bat for us, and we have more money and more food so that the increased number of families we have, we're still giving them food, so we did not have to close our doors. And this is, uh, <clears throat> this is how important it is to people in our community that we feed those in need. And I'm very, very proud of the uh, supporting agencies as well as uh, the public in the co uh, community. Uh, this is our working area in here. The, that's our old refrigerator, and we only had half of it. And the church had the other half. So now we have this big, beautiful new one up here. And it is completely full. And this is mostly the donations that came in over the weekend from Trader Joe's. And we get Plus don't What? Plus the other half over there. Oh, well, the, <laughs> the other half of Trader Joe's has overflowed into that this weekend. Almost every weekend, if the church isn't using it, we overflow into our old space. And then we have a three-door freezer over here. And uh, that is filled with stuff from the um, Trader Joe's and what we purchased, things like that. And then we've been getting a lot of uh, frozen dinners from Ralph's, which is. And then over in this little room is a little mini grocery store. And it has our shelves of our food with a list of the foods we give out. Over a month's period of time, we vary between 1,300 and 1,500 families that consist of about 4,000 to 4,500 people. So we are making a big dent in this community when you look at it on a monthly basis. It's obvious, Gene, by how you've described the pantry that this is really a community-wide uh, 
uh, pantry, that it's run by the community, that it's supported by the community, and there's also many ecumenical resources that go into it. There's many churches that, and synagogues that are part of supporting the pantry. This is what a community like ours needs. And we want to say thank you for, one, all your hard work at first, because you put in a lot of hours in, and thank you for that. This, um, thank you again for the West Valley Food Pantries being here, and for all your work and all the volunteers' works. Thank you.